warmest of welcomes to all of you here to see my work. This piece... Plot. D frame. Well, the exhibition's... ...to officially announce the commencement of the Lost Art Exhibition. Put your hands together for the maestro, Claw. First of all, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. And my warmest of welcomes to all of you here to see my work. This piece, my It all comes down to this verse, as far as I'm aware. The making. However, However, it would seem a year is still not enough. enough. No, doubt no doubt you have already, already noticed, noticed uh, the empty, empty frame, frame before, before you. you. I, I am, am sorry to tell you, you but, but my painting has actually been stolen. Silence! I, 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 I have no doubt you will end, end up on the black market. Where are you? Oh. My one regret is that I never signed my painting, nor did I take any photos of it. In fact, any anonymous painting out there on the market could, in fact, be my work. Ah, fancy me near you. What the? One day you will seek out the truth. That's Mac. Looky what I got here. This one's real. This is the real thing. It's pay up. I've got me too? Director, the painting's been found! But what? Another one? Oh, it cannot be. Another what? one? The, uh, the lost art has The Reef stole it and Greeny has it. That, that's my, my guess. Or, I'm sorry, Green has it. Shoot! So neither of those are correct. So Max stole the painting. And the security guard has the... That... Because Max switched him out. I haven't seen Mac do anything. Wait, let me see. Mac move. I haven't been able to Mr. track Mac because I didn't have a name. What brings you here? Let me see. I, I really want to see if Mac moved. Person for uh, sending me a photo of the maestro's painting. Thanks to that high quality image, I could see all the. You might as well have zero of so all Reeves his work did not to have these the real people. Painting. To them, this empty, pointless frame is more valuable than the. So Mac and then the security guard, Mac trade. Gotcha, okay. That was a little confusing to figure out. So Mac stole the painting to start with. And then Good thought it was a fake, and swapped with Tommy, and Tommy ran out Larry, of the door. Larry, it's perfectly safe. You gotcha. know I don't deal with the real thing, ever. Oh, you gotcha. She never has the real painting. When did you nab it? The win is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. I don't know, I missed I that piece of information. It's okay. all fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that passion. What are you talking about? Of course, she has the thing. It is fake, but I swapped it with the real one in the store. Yeah, turns out that what's fake too. The deal's off. Get up the rest of your money. Hello? Hello? What the hell? Did you do it? How did I miss that? Straight to the storm. The gamble for the save is. Cool your jets, really old man. man. You told me really once long. before. I'm not gonna forget it. Yo, old man. I got the merchandise. Ouch! Watch it, man. 
Sorry. Sorry, I, I panicked. Yeah, anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Here's your painting. See you around, yeah? You stole it! Hand it over! Jesus, fine! Take it! It ain't worth a shit anyway! Yeah, so the security guard took it from him. Good work. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. This is a Before very strange we go any game. Further, I should inform you our acoustic detective system does have potential side effects. For side example, effect. you may start hearing voices as the test continues. That's really weird. There's nothing to worry about, I can assure you. When the exam is finished, depending on the outcome, um, we'll provide any additional treatment you might need. Now on to the thanks. next scenario. To further test your abilities, we'll try a higher profile case. One I'm sure you remember from the news. What is can I pick up the... I can't pick up... I can only click on the tablet. Turn it. The bombing oh. that occurred last year at the Central Booking Complex downtown. A gruesome tragedy in a crowded police station. Twelve people, twelve victims. Now... What's your take on this? Um. I like the way this game puts it together. I really do. So we have two people in here. In here we have one person, and then person over here. This is not a section off area. Good. In here, nobody in the conference. Conference. Nobody in there. Nobody in that restroom. Nobody in that restroom. The men's restroom. So the next place would be over here. No. And one. Okay. So this is an interrogation room, maybe? Is that what that is? So there's, there's only five people in here at the moment, so where are the other people? May I please? Interrogation, okay. Are you done? It was just a phone! Guy didn't even want to press charges! But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft! You broke the law! What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about an eye at something like this on Night Patrol. You're wasting everybody's time. I've had just about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't be my problem much cares. longer. Somebody paid your ticket. I'm in no hurry. Though, can't say the same for the guy whose phone I pinched. He looked like a real complainer. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Come on in. Well, speak of the devil. Uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem, I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked, but you still gotta fill this out. No, <laughs> I'm crying out loud. It's not like I went on a killing spree. There, ta-da, signed and dated. <laughs> Come on in. Well, speak of the devil. Uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. So the desk office. You still gotta fill this out. No. The desk office. For crying out loud. Probably this guy it's not right like here. I went on a killing spree. There. Ta-da. Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm -mm. You two, we're going to reception. So. Pause. There's people in this conference. There's three people. Good to know. Glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Mickey. Mickey Ocean. Here, give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah. Mickey! Glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. 
Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know. Uh... Any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Dr. Cassidy. Bur burning the midnight oil, I see. And, wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I, uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. Yes, okay. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gotta pat me down, too. Tucker handled that already. Just let... So this dude's Tucker. Let him in. You'll get him back when you leave. They came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find Wallet. Everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gotta pat me down too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You'll get him back when you leave. Doug. Just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? Sting. Sting. Where's where's Sting? So Tucker's talking to Doug. Think. No, we should talk now. He's phone cough. I'll come find you. Where are you going, Tucker? Hey, babe, you knew? Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said, I'll. Yes. I'll take this it must from be here. Doug. Hmm. Understood. Let's talk in my office. Take a seat, please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. The blade picked up probably Sting and in. Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent. He he couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. Saw an opportunity, so I had him booked for public intoxication. No shit. Huh. Why'd Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? Sucker booked. I didn't see anyone else there. What's your boss look like? <laughs> nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile, you know? I wasn't what trying to trick you.
Just curious is all. Yeah, but something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Looks pretty sauce to me. Didn't even wake up on the ride over. Must have had himself a whole bottle. Or five. Yeah, well, what is, this what is guessing this? game won't get us anywhere. You keep an eye on those two there, will you? We can't let anything go wrong now. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay, I'll see you out. You know for a fact my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, what? you still hit a government what? vehicle. What? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check here. Wait. Death case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader, you working the night shift tonight? Well, <laughs> what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to this bust you. Ridiculous. You still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law-abiding citizen. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Well, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug, how's life treating you guys? So Shut it, dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You and Kent. Phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. So they come over here. The office. It was just a car accident, Captain. Did that really require bringing us all the way in like this? I got somewhere I need to be. Yeah, are you picking on Doug? Quiet, both of you. I'm doing this by the book. And now that we're back at the station, I'm gonna make you take another breathalyzer. We blew at the scene and it came back negative. What more do you want? You gonna let us go or not? Congratulations, loudmouth. You're up first. Follow me. You, stay right here. What the hell were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? The Raven's All right, not on. I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. Jess, there's a man in the conference room. Go in there and stall him for as long as you can. Conference room? Why? What did he do? Car accident. Fake car accident, only it didn't seem so fake to him, and I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do, just don't you let him first. leave. Roger that. Word on the street is, Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. All right, I've sent someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what... You know, but make it quick. That car accident you staged won't buy us much time. Yeah, Doug was already getting suspicious. Okay, how much do you know about Raven? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them are so Hollywood blockbuster, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. I've been undercover as part of his organization for two years. Everything you've heard about him is this true. Is where Doug and Tucker talk After about he pulls off a major heist. He wipes out his crew and gets a new identity. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys, and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why I can't find a single person who knows what this psycho looks like. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID Raven if he was standing right in front of me. But if this precious pattern of his means anything, 
We might have a chance of nabbing him tonight. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running the rackets in this city the past few years. So when he calls a meeting with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm to guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. Even if he claims it's to pass on the Empire to one of his loose Tenants. No wonder Doug's throwing a hissy fit about getting up to that hotel. He wouldn't miss this get-together for the world. He's been wanting more territory for a while now, and he thinks he's got a shot of the crown. That's why he's so anxious. The rest of the underbosses are probably headed there as we speak. Wait. Raven's supposed to show up. Wait. Later. You don't think by any chance that Doug is Raven? I don't think he is. But I can't say for certain. A lot of guys will be there. Any one of them could be him. If we sweep up the whole group, we can sort him when we book him. I guess we'll see. Okay. You head up there with Doug. I'll put together a squad to back you up. Got it. Now let's make this real. Fucking cops! You ain't got shit on me! DUI! You know- Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government Why vehicle. You? Why are you here? That's where that explodes. I need to follow Dwight. They're having their fight. What are you in for, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why'd they even bother? Ah, oh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. I didn't even have that much. How come I passed out? Somebody slipped something in my drink. I still feel groggy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of guys like you, all claiming they didn't drink that much. Sure, I'll bet it's you a were loud totally door. dry in college or whatever. Having trouble walking straight. Ooh. Legs a bit heavier than I remember. See, more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. This way, let's get you released. For a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government. <laughs> I gotta stay here with Ken. I gotta find out what Ken. Ken's in here by himself. Asleep. Where is this place, huh? Oh, fuck, I'm in lockup. Oh, I, I missed the phone call. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody still breathing? Well, would you look who's awake? Quiet in there. Hey, come on, let me out. What are you in for, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Awesome. So what is Dwight doing here in the bathroom? Spent a lot of time in the bathroom. Well, I guess for all the other stuff that's going on, yeah. The customer you're trying to reach is not available. Please call back. 
Jeff. God damn it. Who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. I know you're doing something else. I would hazard a guess Mickey or Dwight might I don't know. I don't think anybody else really knows anything. Jess goes in to talk to Doug. Tucker goes in. At the same time. Right about now is when can't get that that missed call. So feeling Dwight. Calling again. Why was the one waiting for his phone? Okay. Just just talking to Kent. Beautiful. Why do you even bother? Oh, shove it already. He's helping the kids. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. Whoops! Sorry uh, about that. It's fine. Oh, the first that guy's phone. That was something else. Something else? Oh, that's... Just stole that guy's phone. That was something else. Something else? I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. What's a phone to you, huh? This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone, it's access. Access to the owner's... Ah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. What did I tell you, huh? There's my money! Damn, Mickey, you the man! I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone... Officer, have you seen my phone? Oh, you again? That's gotta be a record! Yeah, I, uh... You yeah. seem to have misplaced Are it again. Here? Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this. Huh. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it. Chip set the bomb up. Detonate the bomb. Chip. White, I think the white's Raven. Now I just can't figure out who brought the bomb in. Hello, Him in with Tucker. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check here. Theft case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case. So, uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader. You working the night shift tonight? Well, <laughs> what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to this bust you. You still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law-abiding citizen. Excuse me, officer. Sorry. Hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade? And Doug? How's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You two. Phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. The explosion They're was over here. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details.